Burning bodies produce bones. Well, you know what? You learn something new every day. Man, I tell you, this game takes a really long time to load. Oh. Alright, well, uh, here's another thing I learned today. These crates reset! Oh, jeez. I didn't see his body for a second. I only saw his head and I said, Oh, God, what happened to Kelvin? Yes, I got an MRE. Oh, you know what? Mmm... I bet you that is an early access thing that they are going to patch out because that is a little OP that that reset. I mean, how much free shit am I going to get from this? The fuck was that? Oh, it was a deer. Okay. I mean, look at this. I got some more ammo. Yeah, I know I'm thirsty. I'll take care of that in a second. Got some, some more tape. Yes. Oh, okay, so... Okay, so a bit of an update. I, uh, I watched back the footage from episode one. And I went over there to look. And I looked exactly where my spear went. And it is not... It's gone. I don't... That's why I couldn't find it was... It, it does not exist anymore. I do not know what happened to it. But it, it, it is gone. I hope that's a fox. I really don't want that to be a... A damn... Grab these sticks. I really don't want that to be a... A cannibal. And more printer resin? How much of this do I have now? Look at how much of this I have. 400 printer resin. I wonder what you do with that. Get some berries. Just eat one. Poink. Uh, oh, here's one. No, nope, that's part of the propeller. I think I've searched everything. Yeah, I think I've searched everything. So, um, that is... Oh, here we go. So that is a good thing to know. These... Another grenade. These reset. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, until they patch that out, uh, it's in the game. I'm gonna take advantage of it. They don't want people to take advantage of that. They need to, uh, they need to patch it out. Right, let's drink some water. Ooh, there's fish in here. I wonder if I can spear one of them. Let's drink some more water. I always do that. I always press it instead of hold it. Right, let's see if I can spear one of them. No. They have to come into the shallow water. I can't use my... There it goes. That was weird. I can't use my spear when I'm swimming. So, let's, for now, just leave it be. Alright. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I need to finish this. Um, let me finish this, and I'll be right back. Oh, shit! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Back! Back, you! Now oh, you swinging at me, bitch! Well, no, 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 you are dying, you are dying right now, dead. Where is he? I hear him. There he is, he's in a fucking tree. Come out of the tree, monkey boy. <laughs> See if I can get a headshot on him. Nope, not gonna risk it. You better fuck off. I killed both your friends, bitch. <coughs> Boom! Yeah, that's what I thought. Naked, filthy, fucking cannibals. Alright, so I've killed three of them. Shit. I mean, it was only a matter of time before they showed up to fucking bother me. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try out this new thing that they said. I know that stepping on the fire hurts me, 
and sets me on fire. So maybe if I do that... Yep, he caught fire. Alright, so we're gonna do these because I need bones. I need, I need bones so I can make effigies. Now that I got this, I'll be able to make some effigies, hopefully, to protect myself. There we go. Those are rocks. I thought those were, uh, the little pockets, like skin, skin pouches. Sometimes these guys drop skin pouches when you kill them. I don't know what they're for, but I try to collect them up. Look at that! Look at that! Bones! I got some skeletons. Oh, I got too many bones. Okay, so that means I need to build a bone storage. Uh, we can put that right here. Actually, no, we'll put it next to it here. Boom. That means I'm gonna need sticks. Put the rest of these back. I don't need them. All right. Let's start a. Yes. Bones. Oh, dude. That little, like, hint during the load screen was supremely helpful. I had no idea that that's how you collected bones. And now that I have them. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, bones, bones, all the bones. Where are they at? All right, I got another skull. I should have three skulls. Let's just store these bones in here. All right, now let me check my inventory. The skulls, where are the skulls? It usually, like, when you pick up legs, here they are. Look at that, three skulls. Okay, so now, let me just make sure I picked up all the bones. I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. All right, so now that I have bones, I can pick up sticks, and I can make effigies. So the first thing we want to do is equip the stick, and we'll put one over... Uh, nope, this one. So we'll put one here. We'll put one over here. We'll just put one here. And we'll put one... I don't know, like, mechanically what the radius for these things are. Or, like, mechanically how they function. But in my mind, this is... I mean, three spread out is better than none doing nothing. Alright, so I have not made these before. So I think if we just put the skull... Yep. And then we just plunk it on there. Alright. Alright, now, if I... Fuck, where'd I put it? I put it... I put it here. So now if I face this way, when I plunk it, it'll face outward. Yes, this is what I want. Alright, let's come over here. And we'll plunk down this one. Like so. Kaplunk! Alright, now can I... Just because I'm fucking weird about this shit, can I come back over to this one? And can I take it and then let's go back to my inventory, equip this, and then I'm going to turn around this way so it's facing outward. Yeah, there we go. Effigies. All right. Okay, so now we go to the... Is it in here? No, this is traps. Although traps might be a good thing to look into utility gardening no so let's uh let's go to this one and then i want to learn to make effigies these are ramps defensive wall i know rope okay i'm not sure why you would need to do that but i'll figure that out later rope bridge fine Firewood, tent, stick structures. Okay, so that's how you do an effigy. And then you can also spike the top of a stick. But when I tried this before, it didn't form a triangle. It formed like an arching arrow. And it would spike the stick, 
but it would also lean the stick out. So I don't know. I'll have to look into that one. Uh, ooh, I should put rocks and reinforce these. Yes, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. Um, B, and then uh, let's open up and equip rocks. I right, only want to reinforce these. One, two, three, and then... What? I just placed three. Why would I not... That's weird. All right, well, let's just reinforce all of them. And then I'll pick up more rocks. So we got one, two, three. And then we'll come over to this one. We'll do one, two, three. So these are now reinforced, which means hopefully they should last longer. Um, what is that? Oh, it's a rock. Okay. So I've spent nine rocks, but my inventory is still full. That's interesting. That might be a glitch. That might not be... Yeah, that might not be a correct thing. Let's build another rock storage. Just to do it. Um, bup, bup, bup. Storage, rock storage. And we'll just put it, we'll just put it right here behind this one. Boom. Oh, wow, you can carry a lot of freaking rocks, man. Holy crap. Let's pick up some more rocks. Toss them in here so I've got a full thing going on. Can I do... Pick up a couple more. Nope, that's full. All right, so we got two full things of rocks. I built a second thing for holding sticks. The first one's not even... I don't know how much it can hold, but the first one's not full yet. And then I got a thing for bones. Um... Now, according to my friend Matt, who I was playing this with the other night, he was saying that you can take bones and you can make, like, at least in the original, you can make really elaborate effigies, like, covered in different bones that look like different things. So maybe that's something that you... I mean, I don't know why they would remove things in this version. So what if I make a mannequin? Storage, storage, utility, rock path, stick path, birdhouse, scarecrow, gardening. I do want to make some gardens, some standing gardens. So let's just set those up now, and then I can get those going. So this here would be a good place for the gardens, I think. We'll just plunk one right there. Um, B, not V. And we'll just plunk another one next to it. And for shits and giggles, let's just put up a third one. That way I can have three different kinds. What the fuck? Oh, he came out of goddamn nowhere. Jesus, that fucking scared me. Hey! Leave my shit alone, you fucking bastard. Fuck off. I'm gonna burn you, and I'm gonna make shit out of your bones, you stupid asshole. Look, now you're dead. Where's your friend? I fucking hear him. Yeah, see, they come around, knocking on your shit, busting up your walls, talking all that good shit, and then you stick them right in their stupid fucking chests. I swear I heard another one. Maybe he saw me absolutely murk this guy and he ran away in fear. All right, let's get more bones. I want more bones. Now, interestingly, I also found out that if you whack on these guys enough with an axe, you can separate their limbs off. And if you if you take their limbs off, you can uh you can cook them and eat them in like an emergency. But that's kind of gross. And the last thing I want to do is become them. Ah! Yeah. Oh, I was going to try and stick her through the head, but... She was coming up to eat the dead guy that I'm cooking right... Oh, he's like super cooked. He's going to turn into bones in a second. Yeah, she came up to eat this guy, but I was cooking him. 
Right, I got another skull. I can make another another effigy just to do it. Hopefully, that will actually keep them away. I mean, shit, I surround myself with effigies. As long as they're coming and throwing their bodies at me and I'm getting skulls, I'm going to keep making effigies. All right, let's do another one. Uh, no, I need sticks, which I should have. I have one. I have one stick. Perfect. So I got that one there. I got that one there. Let's put this one, like, here in between. And then we'll put some rocks around the base. And then, um, yeah, I know I'm tired. It's fine. And then... See, that's what I mean. Like, instead of doing the angle, it gives you, like, an arrow that lets you spike it and it leans it forward and it pokes out, which will be great to have. Um, but I want to build a perimeter wall before I start setting up defenses. Let's clear out some of the shrubs. Now I want to put the skull on it. Skull. And plunk. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Amazing. I have four skull effigies now. And I got a bunch of bones. Bones. Nope. Wrong button. I was hitting E instead of C. Alright, so let me... Shit, those went all over the ground. Nope. I'm stuck. Shit. I wonder if I picked up all the bones that fell. I think I did. Oh, this is full. Oh, this doesn't hold very many bones. Alright, well, fuck it. Let's make another one. Right? Bone storage. Pick up some sticks. We need eight of them. Yes! Bones! Yeah, hey, I'm doing okay, actually, you know? The other time I played this game, I was, like, at my base, trying to get things set up for, like, an in-game week, and I didn't have half of what I have here. So, I finished the floor. I got some of the walls started. He's collecting up logs for me. Supremely helpful. I love this guy. Kelvin, you, you're awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and plunk down a door. Let's put the door here. So what you want to do for a door is you put them at an angle like this, right? And then this will make stairs. But first, I need these two. And then I need to chop them long ways. Now, this took me a while to figure out. The game doesn't... I mean, it explains this, but not really. So, you see the arrow. It's hard to tell, but it's slanted. And if I right-click, it levels out. See that little difference? Slanted will make a ramp. Leveled will make stairs, like so. Boom. See? Stairs. But if I had slanted it, which you can't slant it now because this is designated as a stair... a set of stairs... If it was slanted, they would angle and they would form a ramp instead of stairs. Which you sometimes want. Maybe you want a ramp. I don't know. But yeah, so that's that. And then I'm going to need one more. All right, now this is... Oh, God! I just hit that bird! That was wild. Look at the feathers. All right, let's grab these. We are going to need these to make arrows. Eventually, I'll get some rope. Oh, shit. Yeah, there we go. I had to jump in the water to do it. So eventually we'll get some rope, and we can make a bow and arrow. And then we can start crafting arrows using those feathers. That'll be uh, very important in the future. Okay, so let's do this. Can you get meat from the bird? I don't think we can. Okay, so we only need uh, one more. Boom. Stairs! And then I'll put a door here. Now, how you do a door... Let me show you. I'll just grab these off the wall. And I'll get started on the door right now. Boom, boom. I like to do the walls six tall. Although I may do this um, back wall 
a little shorter and then do something interesting with the ramps. I haven't even decided yet. I'll probably leave it. Honestly, let's just leave it. We'll, we'll leave it at six. We'll leave it at six. And then we'll, uh, we'll figure out the roof later. A roof was something I could not... I could not figure out how to do on my own. Uh, and then I was thinking about, like, the way that this game's mechanics work, and I realized, oh, you know what the answer is? I wasn't putting a support. So if I wanted to do, like, a slope, I was just trying to put the angle, and it wouldn't let me. So I was making all my roofs flat, which, you know, is fine, but it looks goofy. But then I realized, in order to do a slope, like I did the slope here, you had to have a vertical first. So I just need to put, you know, a vertical wherever, like maybe here, and I'll be able to slope the roofs off of that vertical. But I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. For now, I want to get this door finished. So that's one, two, three, four. So that's six. Let's just throw this to here. And then you come up and it outlines. And you can do this. And you can do this. I'll just keep going down. And then eventually, you do this enough. And boom! You have a door. And then these, you know, can be repurposed uh, for other things. Um, God, I'm really hungry. Do I have any food? No. I ate that MRE that I found uh, when I wasn't recording. I was very hungry. Alright, so we're gonna need to get some food. So let's actually... I want to make more spears, since I lost that other one. Three, four. We'll make two more spears. So let's do one, one, two, two, and then knife. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Yeah, got it. Knife, tape, two sticks, craft. And he whips some things up quick, man. All right, tape, stick, knife. Oh, I need another stick. I need one more stick. Okay. So, we'll do uh, inventory. And we'll do tape, knife, two sticks, spear. I now have three spears. Phenomenal. Amazing. So, we'll get the spear out. And get some feathers. That's good. So... Um, I don't want to throw a spear into a deer on the off chance that it doesn't kill the deer, because if it doesn't kill it, then I could lose it. So let's see if we can get this rabbit. Yes! Ha-ha! Oh, nice throw. All right. Get some rabbit meat. Yes. All right, let's go cook this. Unless there's another rabbit. There's a squirrel. But squirrels are, they're easy to catch because they run slow, but they're hard to, like, spear because they're small. So for now, let's just cook this rabbit meat. So I'm very hungry, and I'm very thirsty. Sip. Get some water going. Some hydration. I'm pretty tired. meat. I, dude, I will straight up throw meat on this and then forget about it and then come back to eat it later. And it's just gone because I let it sit on the grill too long. There we go. Oh, I should have just eaten that. I shouldn't have. That's fine. Eat it in my inventory. Delicious. Alright, I should probably get some more meat. I want to try to spear one of because this will kill the cannibals in one hit. No, he's going to run. This babbling brook is uh, really loud. All right, we need... It's getting dark. Maybe I sleep, and then I eat. I do more, like, hunting and eating in the morning. Yeah, I think that's going to be the move. All right, let's sleep. Let me, uh, let me finish these first. How 
what is he doing on logs? There's one log. I'm gonna let him collect logs. Logs are a pain to collect. I'm gonna let him collect up some logs. Okay. For now, let's plant some yarrow, some blueberry. Let's plant some blueberry seeds. That way I can have like a nice little supply of- Oh, hey, lady! I want to know what your deal is, but I don't know... I don't want to look it up. I could just Google it, how to get her to be chill with you, but... No spoilers. I'll figure it out eventually. I'm sorry if that's frustrating. Alright, let's, uh, let's sleep. Z. So, here's the thing that I figured out. If you sleep, you want to save after you sleep. You don't want to sleep... You don't want to save and sleep. You want to sleep and then save. Because if you save before you sleep and you die and you reload, you'll wake up... You'll load in the dark. And you don't want to load in the dark. You want to load when the sun's up. Some, some water going... Now let's do some hunting. No, he's gonna run. Now let me see if I can get close to this little one. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this. Now he's gonna run. They're so like, there's a rabbit. Let me see if I can sneak over and get this rabbit. All right, come on. Oh, don't, don't leave, 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 don't leave. Oh, I hit the bird. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, no, it was a squirrel. I hit a squirrel. Hell, yeah. Food is fuel. Oh, I just noticed the, uh, the sneaky meter next to my little, um, strength meter. Let's go this way. Now, I saw during a load screen that going oh look at that going in a bush hides you completely oh, that's really good to know oh that's really good to know hmm interesting very interesting Pick up these mushrooms Pick these all right let's cook this uh let's cook this squirrel meat and there's another squirrel running by squirrel meat Throw some leaves in there, get the fire cooked back up. No, he's gonna run. I bet you if I hide in a bush, I can wait for them to get really close and then spear one of them in the head. I bet you I could. Bet you I could. Let's get in here. Yeah, see? You spear it, and it hits it in the chest, and then it runs off with your spear. Yeah, it just ran off with my spear. What happened to the second one I threw? I think it's gone. Shit. I think I hit it with both spears. I think my aim was too good and my second spear is just is just gone. Alright. Let's eat this food. Oh, it's burnt. I burnt it. See? That's that's what happens when you're not paying attention. You burn your shit. Yeah, that made me feel sick. That actually hurt me. It didn't help me. Damn. Shit. How many spears do I have one spear left? Well, you know. You live and you learn, I guess. At least I can get, uh, essentially unlimited tape now that I know that it respawns. Right, let's make a backup. Alright, so don't throw spears into the deer, because they will straight up run off with your spear. Like that one did to me. Let 
Well, that really sucks. Yeah, I don't know where it went. Oh. Yeah, all right. Oh, can I not? Oh, you can. Oh, well, I'd rather it be up in the air, actually. Do I have another stick? Maybe not. Um, I bet you I can find one. I didn't know that you could put up all four corners like that. I thought you could only do two of them. It's really uh, useful knowledge. Eat this berry. Stick, 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 stick. There's a stick. Stick. All right. Uh, we're not. Uh, you know what? It probably needs to be equipped. So equip it. And we'll just boom. Put it there. Boy, she is a running. Well, she was running full, man. Cool. And now it's a little bit nicer. You know, both me and Kelvin can sleep under here now. Kelvin, what are you doing, man? I can't be mad at you. If I put my weapon away. And then I equip, um, what can I give her? Can I give her, I can't equip that. I can't equip that. I can't equip a lot of stuff, actually. I don't know what to give her to make her like me. Can I give her a rock? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, look, my bush is growing. Isn't that nice? Wait. Is this the spear? Yes! Oh, I got it back! Let's go! Oh, yeah, let's go, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Alright, let's hunt this rabbit. Because I need food now. Oh, there's a bunch of rabbits. Oh, shit, there's a bunch of rabbits. Here, I'm gonna get this one. Watch, let's get in this bush. Shit, he saw me. Oh, he tore ass. He got out of here. He saw me holding up a spear and he said, Nope. Not fucking with you, buddy. Alright. I don't want to attempt to spear a deer because I will lose. I will lose it. <coughs> nope. I missed. Son of a bitch. See, that's what happens. Pick up this Yarrow. That's what happens, man. They run for it. Alright, maybe I can get the squirrel. Here, I'm just gonna chase him down. Oh, he went under my house. Damn it. There he is. Squirrel! Get, get back. Got you. Alright. So I got... Yep, got that. Delicious. those there. Let's, uh, let's cook up this squirrel meat so I can not be so damn hungry. Meat! And now, instead of burning the shit, I'm just gonna sit here and wait for it to finish because it doesn't, uh, it doesn't actually take that long to cook. I can just eat it straight off the grill, and for some reason I just pick it up on habit and then eat it out of my inventory. Uh, let's see if we can get another one. Nope, I missed. Yeah, hey, I got that one. Where'd he go? Where's his little squirrel corpse? There it is. I'm gonna eat this. The deer running, man. All these little noises in this game that'll, like, really freak you out. Alright. Now, I saw in the build menu that there was something called a drying rack. And so I'm wondering if I can use this to make jerky that will last longer. So let's put the drying rack 
I don't want it to just be out in the open, so let's put it in the house. Put it like here. Boom. We'll get some sticks on that in a minute. Is this done? Yes, it is. Eat. Munchy, munchy. God, that meat sounds juiced. It sounds so juicy. Okay. Kelvin, take a break from logs. Get sticks and put them in the holders. Thanks, bud. Appreciate you. You're, you're a good guy. Um, and then, these are in my way. I'm gonna just... I don't want to fire with them. I want to keep them. I'll just put them here for now. Because I don't want to fire with these. I think I might need these short ones to build the roof. So we'll do that. Collect up all these sticks. There's a lot of sticks, man. That's good. I need a lot of sticks. Um, stick. So, even though I'm pretty much finding all the sticks I need for this drying rack, I still need a bunch for the other planters. So, I want him to... There we go. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can put six meats on here. That's good. So, yeah, I still want him to fill up um, that because... I'm going to need a bunch of sticks for those planters. So let's do this. While he's collecting those up, let's see if we can get some meat going. Can I get this deer to come up to me? No, he's going to run. I See, I, I'm thinking if I get it in the head... Let's try this out. <coughs> yes! Oh, dude, yes! Headshots are instant kills. Oh, uh, now I gotta put it out of its misery. I got deer skin. Nice. And then... Oh, no! I didn't mean to eat it! Oh, that's gonna be bad for me. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Raw meat. That was not good. Alright, well, I can just pick the meat up off of it. So that's... Well, now I know. That's my first deer. I've ne... Oh, that's sad. I've never killed a deer before in this game so i didn't i didn't know that the meat would just be on it i thought i would have to use my knife on it to get the meat out that's frustrating let's put some meat on here some meat meat yes jerky let's go all right we're getting it done we're getting this done all right let's see if we can finish this yes all right, now on you, let's plant some yarrow. That way I've got a, an unlimited supply of that. And I think in the future, I can like rip these bushes out and replace them. And if not, I think I can always just, uh, no, I can't, I can't undo this with C. Interesting. I'll figure that out later. I mean, cause I know that there's tons of different flowers and there's tons of different berries in this game. And so I'll want like, I want to plant stuff here that I can't just get right there in the trees. I want to go and get other stuff, but I haven't ventured out yet, so... There's got to be a way for me to undo... Let's get the squirrel. Dude, right in the neck. Oh, good throw. See, I told you. I told you guys. I'm okay at this. I do okay at the spear chucking. I've just been, you know, shitty the last couple throws. Boom! That one was easy. That one was wicked easy. I'm trying to fill up the jerky rack as much as possible. Nope, I missed. Yeah, I got him that time. One, two, 
One, two, three. Look at that. Look at all this jerky. Oh, it's drippy. That's gross. Beautiful. Yes. All right. So we got that. Uh, he has collected up kind of substantial amount of logs. We can move one here and one here. Pick up those here. Boom. And boom. One, two. Do one there. And one there. We'll get these two. Now, there was... Hmm. I wonder what happened to those. There was two that I accidentally tried to pick up too many. And they, like, glitched. Maybe I did pick them up. Interesting. Alright, so I'm very... Hey, look, there she is. So I did one time see her walk up to, like, a, a rabbit, and she fucking murked the rabbit and then started eating him raw. There's got to be something that I can offer her that'll make her, like, be chill with me. She's going to sit for a minute. She gonna, she's drinking the water. She's really nice. I want her to be... Ooh, that's, like, rotten meat. Gross. Um, let's see here. All right. Well, let's just collect up a bunch of these sticks that he's dropped off. See if we can finish this other planter. Even if we don't have seeds to plant in it yet, it'll still be nice to have it finished. There we go. Okay. Kelvin, you've done good with the sticks. I appreciate you. But I want you to go back to logs please and thank you you get that done and before you know it dude we'll be sleeping warm and comfy in indoor log cabin luxury yeah. clear out some of these stumps uh, you gonna chop down that one yeah, here, I'll chop down this, uh, I'll chop down this one. So one thing I found out is if you just sit here and hit the tree from the same side, it'll take you a really long time. So if you come around, you don't want it to fall on your structures. If they fall on your structures, they will destroy them. So you want to kind of go around it in a way, it'll always fall away from you. So you want to, like, go around it. So, like, I'll start in the direction I want it to fall. So, I'll start on this side and make this side weak. Right? And then I'll come the direction I want it to fall is in front of me. And then I'll take out this side. Right? Just kind of work my way over. And then, before you know it, the whole thing... Yeah. There it goes. Boom. That was a bunch of logs. Cool. Cool. Alright, and then while he's collecting those up and storing them, I'll keep trucking on this house. And so, like, the same idea with the door. You can do the same thing, but you don't do it all the way down. You just do the two here, and boom! Look, you got a window. Pretty neat. And if you even want the window to be bigger, you just make it bigger. Beautiful. Beautiful. Amazing. This game is really neat. I really enjoy these building mechanics. It feels very, like, tactile and very, like, uh, realistic, I guess you could say. No, he's going to run. I was going to try and get him. Feathers? The feathers will float away if you don't grab them quick enough. All right, um, so let's look through the book and see what else we can make. We can make some shelves. This is interior stuff. I'll do all that later. I don't need to make paths right now. What is this mannequin? Do you, like, put clothes on this? Or do you put bones on this to make complicated effigies? I don't know. I don't know. Tell you what I could do, though. Let's keep looking through this book, see what it's got to offer. A scarecrow. Ooh, maybe this is what I want to build. 
Oh, you know what? Maybe this is... Maybe this is the thing. Maybe this is... So I've got these effigies here. Let me put this scarecrow... Like, because they seem to come from this direction. So maybe if I put... Can I not because of the hill? I don't think it'll let me because of this incline. Because it'll let me do it over here on the flatter ground. So let's put the scarecrow. Because I've got... Where is he? Oh, look! There he is! Fucker! Alright, so we're going to put the scarecrow right here. Oh, I need sticks. But I don't think I'm going to be able to finish... Look at him. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish the scarecrow. Because, yeah, you need tape. And I'm all out of tape. So I'm going to need sticks in order to finish this guy. But I'm also going to need tape. But I'm going to need a lot of sticks. All right, look at this fucker. He's so ominous and spooky with his fucking skull face paint. Stand still so I can spear you in your fucking dumbass head. Yeah! Boom! What is that? Oh, that's a deer. And he dropped his bone. Oh, did you drop your bone, Mr. Cannibal? Dumbass. Now, I was able to chop his limbs up. I wonder if once the Scarecrow is done, if I can put his chopped up limbs on the Scarecrow. But I don't think the body will last long enough for me to be able to do that. So instead, for right now, I'm just going to cook him. And I'm going to get his bones to fill up my bone holder. And then in the meantime, I'll get an extra skull. I can make another effigy. Put it over here where he came from. Keep the, uh, keep the psychos at bay. Yeah, see, there's my other one. Reinforced. I bet you I can reinforce this, but I have to finish it first. So let's collect up some sticks so that I can get this done. It said I needed seven. There's three. Uh, can I pick up another rock? Yep. Just for shits and giggles, I'll pick up this rock. Let's see here. No, I'm stuck. Okay. Oh, here's four. Five. Six. I feel like the count from Sesame Street... I only need one more. Look! These motherfuckers! They won't fuck off, dude. Oh, look, you're in the tree? Well, guess what? I can throw this. Are oh, you gonna get on the other side of the tree? Look at you. Look at you. Eat shit. Give me my spear back. I thought I heard another one. Because I did. Because I did. I'm taking your buddy. Come and stop me. Come into my camp. We'll get toasty. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. Look, there's two now. Dude, there's so many. Why don't they just leave me alone? I understand that, like, this is their island or whatever, but I'm just trying to not die. Hell, I'd even be willing to trade with the psychos if they weren't, you know, psychos. Grab these bones. All right, this guy's not cooking. I gotta put him on the fire. There we go. There, he's on there now. Look, my dude, leave me alone. <coughs> Boom.
Ugh, he made a gross noise. Well, he's dead now. I'm not making any more gross noises, I tell you what. Dude, look, the more of you guys come here and bother me, the more bone effigies I can make. So just keep on, man. Keep on keeping on with your bullshit and keep on coming and fucking with me. I'll keep burning your corpses. I'll keep taking your skills. I don't give a shit. Thought that was another one. The deer are like the same color palette, so I keep thinking that the deer... Bones. Alright. So let's take... Do I have any sticks at all? No, I do. Alright. Good. So... Oh shit. You know what? I don't have enough to finish this. Let's just throw them all on here. Because I need to find more sticks anyway. <laughs> There we go. That should be enough. So I can finish this. Alright, I need tape. And then, with the rest of these sticks I just picked up, I'll finish off these bone effigies. So I got one there. Let's put one here. Two, three. Pick up these sticks. Might as well. Pick up these rocks. Might as well. Let's put another one right here. Oh, I need to... Maybe I should just put these sticks in my inventory. In my hotbar. Let's put it here. Go ahead and reinforce it. And we'll do the skull. Like so. Don't worry, honey. I'm not going to hurt you. You seem nice and clean. And like you won't be a cannibal and be eating, eating your own people. Am I out of skulls? I am out of skulls. But I just did burn a new body. Let me go grab that one skull. Yeah, I've got another one here. Yeah, I got the skull. Good. Right, I think that's all the bones. Right, so we'll just dump all the bones in here. And then we'll equip this stick. Now where's a good place for this one? I've got one there. They seem to mostly be coming from this direction and from over there. So maybe I go and I put some over here. I don't know if they will cross the water. So when I build my wall, I don't know if I'm going to have to completely surround the water, but what I'll do for now is I'll come to, like, where this tree is, and I'll do a semicircle up to, like, the little ridge, and then I'll come back down right on the other side of the plain, and I'll just build a wall around, and essentially use this water as a natural wall, a protective barrier. So let's put you right here. some reinforcements. Oh, am I out? That's annoying. I get another one. And I can put you here. Beautiful. Let's just grab some more rocks. Sometimes it's a good idea to clear out all this brush. So that way, because what they'll do, I noticed when I was playing the other day, that sometimes you'll, like, see a bush, and you're like, hey, I cleared out these shrubs, and then you... Fuck, dude! And then you get up close to the bush, and it'll, like, spring into life, and three of these guys will just pop out of it. And they'll, like, ambush attack you. But if there's, like, a bunch of bushes everywhere, they can easily hide amongst all the other bushes. But if there's only the one bush in a field of emptiness then you know hey something's up with that bush oh look at him he's working up the logs yeah you see these skulls these are your friends these are your brothers and your sisters 
And I did this. And now I'm gonna... Ah, oh, you tricksy fuck. Alright, you know what? You made me miss a throw. And... I don't want to lose my spear. There it is. Rip that back. Alright, let's see if I can get this guy out of this tree. Yep. Oh, oh, is that, is that scary? Is that scary having some asshole tower over you as you plead for life? Maybe don't come around and fuck with me then. Idiots. These dudes, they just keep throwing themselves at me. And you know what? As far as I'm concerned, it's just more bones for the bone pile. Bones for the bone pile and blood for the blood god. Fucking idiots. All right. He's starting to collect up some logs, and if these fill, he will stop. So let's go ahead and get some more walls up to our hut. So we can get out of this rain. Alright, so... For shits and giggles... Once I get this wall finished, we're going to try and build part of the roof. I know that this jerky... I don't think... I mean, I could be wrong. This game's already been impressively complicated so far. But I don't think this jerky will be affected by the rain. But in real life, it would be. So we want to get... And that's why I put the jerky rack in the house. So we want to get this wall and this part of the roof finished so the jerky can stay dry. One there, one there. All right, let's use this and this, and then we'll put it, um, where is it? It won't let me get up there. Uh-huh. I'm gonna have to build some kind of ramp or something. So let's do, let's do this. Let's build a small part of the wall that's only three tall here. That's half. So we'll build this half wall. And then, if I've done this right, I should be able to jump up onto here. And then jump up onto... Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. And then, I put you here. Jump over. And then come over here. This is a little jank. I'll put you here. And then, grab the two of you, and then I put one here, and then one like that, and then I should be able to put a roof, right? I think. It might be too wide. Um... Oh, you know what? I know what I need to do. Okay, so check this out. Hear me out. We're gonna we're gonna try this, and we're gonna see if it works. But for now, just follow me. All right. So in the build menu, it says here that in order to do a ramp, where's the ramp? Oh yeah. So you can do um, basic beams, and then you can slot them horizontally, right? Or like at an angle. But in order to make a roof. See, that's a flat roof, but I don't want to do a flat roof. Instead, I'm going to do ramps like this for the roof. But in order to do ramps, you have to have... But this... So here's here's what I'm thinking, right? So if I... Oh, uh, shit. If I put the verticals in the middle, and then horizontals, and then the angles, I should be good, right? God, dude! These guys will not fuck off. So I'm thinking if I do some verticals here, up, and then I do a cross, and then I put the little angles in the corners and then get rid of the supports, I should have a bar that goes across that I can put all the slats against, right? The only way to know for sure is to try it out. Yeah, stand still, idiot. Ugh. Ugh. If you would leave me alone, this wouldn't keep happening to you. 
I got bones. I got bones to pick up. See, ever since I saw that um, thing in the load menu about burning bodies to get bones, I just have unlimited bones now. It doesn't seem like it matters how many effigies I make. They will not go away, like at all. But you know what? I feel good about making them. So we're just gonna keep making them. As long as there is effigies to make, I will make them. Pick up this rock. All right, so we'll put one there, and then we'll put one here. Pick up these rocks. One, two, three. And I need one more for that other one. And then I think I've got a third skull, so I'll just pick up another couple rocks. Just to add. Okay, so let's put some more rocks on this guy. One, two, rocks. And then there was another one I started setting up here. Let them get the skull. Effigy, and here we are. Come on. Let me do... Oh, no, that's not a skull, that's a rock. Oh, I don't have any more skulls. Well, I'm about to get another skull, so... No, oh, my inventory is full of the bones. There's that last skull. Let's go plop this on the stick that I just set up, which I put here. Plunk. Now I wonder if I equip one of these bones in my hand, can I do anything with the effigy and the bone? No, I cannot. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's sleep because I'm sleepy. And then we'll save. As good a time as any. Now we're going to need food and water. Water, I've already got sorted. Delicious. Murky. Stagnant pond water. Amazing. I feel so much better. Has my jerky dried? Has it become the jerk yet? Raw meat. No, but what I can do is I can just take them and cook them. Which is what I will do. I will just cook them. And then, I hate to say it. Actually, no, I don't hate to say it. But I think I'm going to have to build more bone storage. Because look at this. I mean, it's like crazy. Bones... And, uh, bones. Do I not have any more sticks? No, I don't. Shit. That's fine. Eat this. I am no longer hungry. And eat this. Well, I'm no longer starving. Now I'm no longer hungry. Oh, yeah, look, all my things are full. My tiredness is full. This is the first time since I started playing this game that I've had almost full stamina. I mean, look at that stamina. That is just... That is just great. It's... it's you love to see it. Eat some berries. Because I like berries. You got Kelvin chopping down trees. I like this game. You know, and there's not crazy painted up maniacs trying to eat your flesh. This game's actually kind of fun. And it's kind of chill. Okay. So what I need... I want to figure out this roof. Before I continue making the house. So what we're going to try is we're going to try this. Here. Oh, can you not? Yeah, there you go. So we'll put this here. Right? And I'll grab one of these. And, oh wait, this might not be long enough. Oh no, this, this should be long enough, right? I think. Alright, well let's jump up 
here. We'll jump up here. And then we'll put... Here. No. Shit. How am I supposed to get up that high? Can't, like... Dude! Leave Kelvin alone, you actual piece of shit. Oh, damn, he hits hard. Okay. Oh, okay, wow. Holy shit. Alright, we're just gonna run, run, run. Spear to the head. Oh, in the neck. Fine. Fine. Spear to the head. Oh my god, is he not dead? He's not fucking dead, dude. Oh shit, okay. Run, 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 run. Okay, so first thing, eat. Eat pills. I took a lot of damage just now. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, he has a lot of health. Okay, swing at me, hit you. No! Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess that's as good a time as any to stop for the day. Alright, so now I know where their camp is. Kind of. Alright, let's get back to camp, and then I'll call it for the day. Because if the big guy is at my camp, I think that means that there's nobody here. Dude, there's nobody here. That means... I've killed enough of their people for the big guy to come after me. Now, I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure that that means if I... Oh, yes, Claw. If I kill the big guy, then these motherfuckers won't respawn anymore. But I don't know if that's accurate. They got, like, tubs of organs. Take his skull. Wait, is that all the shit that he has? That's it. This is kind of a small camp, actually. Break their fucking effigies. I'll tell you what, get these three skulls. Oh, you can only carry so many. I'm still gonna break all their effigies anyway. Yeah, fuck your effigies. Fuck your camp. Fuck your people. And fuck you. Alright. Now, I'm gonna need my map. All right, so they're at the end of this road. Oh, they are really close to me. See, that's the thing I've noticed about this game, man. Like, look, they were right up the road this whole time. Like, this whole time they were right there. And you know what? I think... Oh, shit. Well, I did not know that was going to happen. I'll fix it in a second. Yeah, he ran off. He ran off with my spears. That really bites. He ran off with my spears in, in his skull. Ah, fuck. Damn it. Shit. Those spears are really important because this thing does damage, this axe. But man, you have to get really close to him to do damage with it. Like, really close. Son of a bitch. Alright. Let me clean up this mess. And then I'll save. And then I'm gonna call it for... For this episode. For this session. Damn it. Well, you know. Such is uh, the forest, I guess. But something... I have the feeling that if I kill that guy... That camp will go away, and if not permanently, for some kind of extended safe period. Which I really need to happen. I need tape. Well, when I log back in, I'll hopefully get more tape from these uh, things resetting. Hmm. No, I fell. Oh, he, like, broke my wall. Damn it. What an ass. 
Oh, that's stuck. <laughs> that's a glitch. Oh, this wall is like super broken. He like did a number to the damage. All right. You know what? Before before I call it, before I stop recording for the day, I want to jump up. I want to see if I can figure out this roof. Because I think I know how to do it. I can't reach that. No, nope, and then I fell. Alright, let's try again. No, nope. alright. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw this. We're going to try something else. Can I do like that? And then... I thought Kelvin was the guy. Can I do... See, that's... Huh. Oh, well, you know what? I wonder if that means that now... I can do... Like... Oh, it's just her. There's a lot of spookiness in this game, man. I tell you what. Well, let me try this. Let me try this. I can't take that out because of this is here. So we'll take that out. We'll take that out. We'll do this one first. And then we'll do... Can I not extend this upward? Can I not put this up on this and extend it up? Hmm... Tell you what, we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna do it this way. No, this is not long enough. I need a full one. Let me get this full one, and then we'll do it up like so. Right? And then, can I climb up? Oh, I, I fell. I got, I got squirrely. I got froggy with the controls. All right. So let's try this. I can put that there. Can I put this here? Yes. And then, can I grab another full log? Nope. All right, what if I just do like that, right? And then I get a full log and I go across and then I get another full log and I do one here. And then I get another... Where was that stump log from before? Where did it go? There's another, like, half log. I need a half log. Here it is. So we'll take this half, and we'll deposit it there. And then I actually should be able to take... Nope, I took out the wrong one. That's fine. So we'll put this one here, right? And we'll put this one... What? Oh, I just had it. No, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to put this one up here. Like this. Now, can I take this out? No. No, I cannot. But you know what I can do now... Because I should be able to finish this part of the roof. Hold on, hold on with me, guys. Bear with me. We're gonna we're doing some we're doing co some construction experimenting for a few minutes. Boom, like that. Boom, like that. Right. And then we get two of these. Pop these here. And then I want to cut these in half. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Boom. Like that. And then we'll put you... Um... Actually, no. I want to do this one first. Let's do that one first. And then I want to put you... I'm going to put you... here? Can I then take this one out? Yes. 
put you here. And then I can take this one out. Right? And it kind of looks like a roof, sorta. And we'll put you. No. Put you here. Now let's cut you in half. We're just we're just doing some experiment. And we'll put you. Can I not? See, I was hoping I could do the same kind of corner trick. So that I can get rid of these triangles underneath. Right? Something like that. And then I should have taken both up there. Now I gotta climb back up here again. Something like that. And then if I come here, like that. And then can I take this out? Nope, nope, that's the wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. But it's okay. Right? Hold on. Let me drop this. Pick up this. Dude, this wind is really fucking blowing. Christ, it's loud. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is frustrating. Oh, no, God. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Nope. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. This should not be this difficult. This should not be this difficult. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. I had it. I fucking had it. Alright. I'm gonna try it from back here this time. There we go. Come on. Alright. So we're up here. And then... Um, we wanna do... Oh, I have to put that half back. What is that symbol? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I will need these, though. Um, in fact, I'll just go ahead and stick these in here, like that. Alright, so I'm going to need to put you back. Got that. So we'll grab you. Jump. We'll put you here. And now with those supports like that. No. No, not that one. Can I take. No, not that one. Can I not take. You? No, I can't. I can't take that one out. And I can't take these ones out. Hmm. Very interesting. But you know what I could do? Just to make it more structurally sound. I could do this. And then I could do... This. And then I could do... This. Where is it? Where's the... I think I'm gonna have to put one here. And then put one here. And then one more. Going across. And then I should be able to take these out. Alright, well there it is! Oh, one of the roof wedges. And then I'll do the middle two. I'll just do those flat. Right? So now, if I drop these and I split them, like so, I pick up two. Oh no, you can pick up all four. Alright, good. So I'll pick up four. And then we'll do these at an angle. Dude, check us out! Roof! That is the construction mechanics of Sons of the Forest. And it's beautiful. It is absolutely fucking... It was tedious, but look. There's nothing stopping the floor. It's a nice, uh... <laughs> open concept. But look. It's structurally sound. 
I probably didn't need these. Probably save these for something like this one and something like this one. And then I should be able to make the rest of this flat. Yeah, look at us go, dude. Roof. Oh, wait. Do I want to take that one out, though? Oh, I can. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is good. All right, can I take this middle one out? No, I cannot. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. All right, so I'm going to throw these there. And those I will use in that place on this side. But first, we have to finish the walls. And I think I'm going to leave this gap here. And then I'll finish the rest of the walls. That way I have a way to get up. Although, in theory, I could just bloop bloop out here. Well, you better be careful. You can get chopped up. Yeah, I think that's going to be the move. Is just put a ramp. A one, a single log uh, ramp. He should be collecting up more logs. So yeah, this is what I'll do. Oh, that's too tall. So I'll just do a ramp, right? I'll just do a ramp going down, and then I'll have a way up in the future. I'll just toss this there for later. So I've got it, because I'm going to need a bunch of those halves. Fine. All right. Look, it's coming along. We'll get there. So I might I might finish this off camera, uh, just so you guys don't have to watch me suffer through the tedium that is building shit like this. Um, but I'll probably do all this off camera, so when I come back, the house will be finished. I'll try not to do anything else, and uh, I'll have the recording on standby in case anything crazy happens. Um, but as of right now, that's uh, that's where we're at. Can I not store any more in this log pile? No, I guess not. But I'll tell you what I can do. I'll just start another one. Fine. All right, guys. The camp's coming along. Before you know it, we're going to be thriving. We're not just going to be surviving. Oh, look. There's a butterfly on my axe. Oh, that's peaceful. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That made my skin crawl. I did not know what she was going to do. Okay, guys. Uh, on this note, with the beautiful butterfly, the lady rushing us hardcore, and Kelvin eating berries. <laughs> I'll catch y'all later.